I did my undergrad back in India and I applied for masters here and thereafter I got converted to PhD. So I'm into a direct PhD program right now. I chose Missouri S&T because, uh, because of the research uh, focus here because of the course curriculum, because of the awesome faculty, and um, also because it was affordable. One of the reasons I came here at Missouri s and was because my advisor back there in India was perfectly aware that Missouri s and has very well established nuclear engineering program. Together with we have a research reactor here in Missouri s and which not many universities has. I was in India at the time and I was trying to decide um, where to do my master's in and there were a lot of factors to consider. There were expenses, the location, cost of living, um, research options and everywhere I looked s and was popping up quite a lot and um, I have a few people who have gone to s and who also recommended saying that it's a great place to study. The people here are really nice. The staff are very encouraging and there are a lot of research opportunities. And it, there was a strong push to go to s and from all the feedback I heard about it. So I decided to go ahead with it. I like the campus. I like the small campus. I like the community, the small warm community. I like the town. It's a small town. I like the nature. It, I, it kind of roots me, grounds me. My advisor, he did his MS from United States. So he just said, okay, let's choose some universities in US. And then everything narrowed down to Missouri s and Going to Missouri s and definitely does have an advantage because I didn't realize it while I was in school, but once I went to the workplace, it's everybody has an idea saying s and wow, you go to an engineering, one of the top engineering schools and people assume, and I'm pretty sure to get through s and you need to be smart and if you're not, they sharpen you. School makes you sharp and um, gives you, it's something you are proud of after you come out of it. You can say that I went to Missouri s and and people recognize it and I feel that the challenges here empowers you to um, perform better in the workplace. There are some activities related to Indian students, some other uh, groups, and I really enjoy all of that. So um, it's a wholesome experience, a holistic experience here in Missouri s and It is so easy to contact the faculty members here in Missouri s and If you go to big schools, trust me, they have plenty of things to do. And you will be like, like down on their list, and you would be like, hey, where should I go for this particular problem? But here at Missouri s and this guy or the faculty members will sit with you and they will solve your problem. So I started with my advisor, but later in a project, I realized that I can work with someone else as well. So I just asked my advisor, hey, is it okay if I work with this guy as well? We can collaborate. And my, faculty, my advisor was just like, yeah, let's do that. So these kind of things like interpersonal relations that you develop are really better here at Missouri s and You can have one-to-one -one communication with them. You have so many resources here which will help you find your niche and I did not know exactly what I would do when I first landed here. I knew that I wanted to do engineering management but under, under each field there are so many things you can focus on and when you do a graduate program and you do your masters or PhD you are basically coming here to be the best in your field and I think that itself not just the degree but the self the sense of um, accomplishment is worth it. There was one, one time when I was dealing with some personal problems and as a graduate student I have some commitments towards my research and it so happened that for a period of time I was not being able to concentrate a lot on it because of my personal problems but then um, there was some very good advice that my advisor gave me and she said that it'll pass and you'll swim through it you just have to be patient and persevere and I always keep that in mind. And I was just like hey I should develop myself as a student or as a person that will be suitable for every position that I apply to, no matter whether it's an industrial position, an academic position, a postdoc position. Life just throws you curveballs all the time, but there's so much you grow at school. There's so many challenges, not just with education, but with people, with systems, with departments, with groups, and everything you face here will make you a stronger or better person. I've been here for five years and 
um, I have loved each aspect of my stay here. I've loved the seasons, I've loved the community, I've loved uh, people I come across sometimes, just strangers and sometimes you have a conversation with them. So the warmth of the people around here, I really like that. The crime rate is really down here. So if you want to come to your lab 2 a.m. in the morning, you can do that. If you want to go around and you know talk to normal public or something, you can do that at any time you want. You really do not need to like stick to your schedule that you have to come to your home at 7 p.m. or something. With big schools or big places, you may have difficulties in doing that if you are walking on sidewalks or something. But here, you really do not expect any kind of crimes. So, especially for international students, I would say Rolla is heaven in that sense. You have networking opportunities, you have a chance to prove yourself and I think that is what school is about and if you feel that you want to go on to the next big step, this will definitely empower you to do so.